okay welcome guys to another series series of uh, programming and in this series in this class we are going to be learning about OpenGL ES which means open graphic library for embedded systems so um, first thing we are going to talk about this this library this graphic library so OpenGL is a graphic library a 3d graphic library maintained by Kronos group and um, so OpenGL ES is a version of OpenGL created for embedded systems and for mobiles and other stuff so to create high uh, high dimensions graphics high powerful graphics we we use OpenGL so we also have other uh, graphic libraries some other graphic API that we use but um, OpenGL is more uh, like a professional library for games from any high graphics implementations and other stuff but um, we are going to be learning OpenGL DS here which is the version for mobiles and embedded systems okay OpenGL and OpenGL uh, DS are quite the same are very very well the same they have the same uh, functions but upon GLES is for mobiles and embedded systems and we are going to the, the reason why they have a little bit different is that to start um, developing graphic in open GLES you need to adapt to the platform you're developing for like uh, if I'm developing a graphic application for Android device I'll need to adapt this OpenGL ES to the Android development environment or oh, let me say um, to the Android system likewise um, the OpenGL ES also to iPhone to my uh, yeah iPhone and um, OpenGL also is uh, for like desktop computers and other stuff okay so we are going to be learning open GLES here and um, so how we are going to do this is that we are going to be, be developing using some examples going step by step in this tutorial to teach open GLES with Android so we are going to be developing this uh, learning this tutorial by developing for Android devices so the um, process is this quite the same or uh, let me say on uh, 95 percent the same with um, other mobiles uh, mobile phone uh, smartphones like iPhone and other stuff the only difference is that you need to make um, this graphic application developing to be able to run in that particular platform particular OS okay so um, this is a general tutorial and um, so actually if you like um, you find this video interesting don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also also comment your ideas maybe your problems and other stuff like that and i may help you or any other person around may help you to solve anything you want and um, this video is all for you um, it's quite interesting to me to be able to create a video for you guys who are struggling to be uh, able to develop things for your friends your family and for yourself so to make this very 
quick and uh, actually so we are going to be using Android devices and we are going to start by saying Android uh, Android systems or operating systems has some quite of API that lets you develop some graphics you know easy graphics but if you want some high process graphics some professional graphics you need OpenGL so but if you just need something uh, simple just um, 1D graphic 2D graphics uh, it's okay for you to go for those uh, APIs and but if you need 3, 3D graphics like games the one you see in gray games three dimensions and other stuff like that it's good to learn OpenGL and uh, so first thing we are going to do is that we are going to talk about the OpenGL versions that are available sorry OpenGL ES version that are available so OpenGL ES back from the time it was created till now um, we have quite some versions and uh, so the first thing I'm going to say is that Android also has quite of versions um, every version of Android comes with uh, an API level and uh, also OpenGL ES comes with a version also and um, the first version of Op OpenGL ES was, op was version 1 yeah version one version one was for um the old smartphones like maybe let's choose let's talk about android uh, like android from version one uh, i think version um version two to three to four four will run with version with opengl es version one so if i said i want to develop uh, a graphic application a 3d graphic application application and I decide to choose OpenGL version 2 I, I will need to have in my mind uh, back of my mind that uh, with OpenGL ES version 2 my application can only run in any Android smartphone that supports OpenGL version 2 so uh, like uh, OpenGL version 2 I would say Android version that's from like 5.0 up can run your Android uh, your graphic application so anybody that is if you target OpenGL version 2 which is recommended by Kronos group and um, also recommended by Google which is having Android um, you choose version 2 actually your your graphic application will run in most of the devices available now even the new ones coming in and also so it's not a uh, you can also target OpenGL ES version 3 but it's not adv um, really advisable for you to do that because it's going to only run on the latest very latest um, Android devices and other stuff. If you are targeting for iOS, it's going to run in the only the latest Android um, iOS devices. Okay, so we need to have in consideration the version of the uh, OpenGL. So we are going to be learning version two here, and uh, it's, th that is recommended by Android and Chronos Group also so um like i said this is an introduction to this series to this class and uh, in the next tutorial we will start by doing the great stuff you guys are waiting for so and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and see you next time